From flower to consumer, honey makes an interesting journey. Many beekeepers move their hives between crop producing regions like California's Central Valley, where they help to pollinate crops, to the lush Midwest in the summer months, where they'll work busy as bees to make hives full of honey. In the Dakotas, bees forage on clovers and alfalfa nectar, which they fly back to the hive to have turned into honey. Honey is basically bee vomit. Nectar is ingested and regurgitated a number of times, as well as vigorously fanned by hive bees until it reaches the right consistency and is ready for removal by the beekeeper. The bottom box of a hive is the brood chamber, which is where the queen bee lays eggs and they develop into adult bees. The super are the boxes above the brood chamber, where honey is made. A queen excluder is placed between the brood box and the super to ensure the purity of honey. The worker bees can move up and down the hive, but the queen is limited to the bottom box. When a beekeeper desires to harvest, he must get the bees to leave the supers. He does this several ways, one of which is by using a fume board. A fume board is treated with a chemical that drives the bees out. The loaded supers are then exchanged for empty supers and the bees begin filling in the new supers. In the meantime, the full supers are taken to an extraction facility. At the extraction facility, wax is scraped off frames are removed from the supers, and the wax on top of the honeycomb is removed. Once frames are uncapped, they are loaded into extractors that operate to remove honey by centrifugal force. Honey is then collected and filtered. Filtered honey is stored and either sold in bulk to a honey cooperative or bottled in-house. During the bottling process, honey is usually heated to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. This increases the viscosity and flowability of the honey. Heating above this point isn't recommended, as it decreases the nutrients and antibacterial properties of the honey. 
Remember this when decrystallizing honey at home. Delicious honey can be used in tea, coffee, cooking, or on a spoon with lemon for the soothing relief of a sore throat. Thanks for taking the time to visit the Dakotas with me and to see how honey is made in God's country.